Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a tour and update of Star Wars Launch Bay. So we hope you enjoyed the video, and please remember to leave us a like and a comment as it really helps the video, and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. So, let's check out and see if anything's new here. I haven't been in for a while, and uh, we'll check out the merchandise as well as just the uh, displays and everything else. So let's get to it. And most of you who've already been in the launch bay know that as you come in, you have two different uh, choices. You can go to the theater, or you can go to the uh, characters. So that's the two experiences you have, and we have character wait times here. So, and the theater's pretty cool. If you haven't done that, you should do that. This little lobby area has some really great displays. This is a really cool mural of several of the characters. That's the waiting area for the movie. So there's a map. You've got your theater, gallery, Chewbacca, Kylo Ren, Ray Speeder, love that. The cantina, which is fun, preview gallery, launch bay, cargo, and uh, BB-8. So right as you come in, if you turn left right away, you'll actually see this gallery. It's got a lot of solo stuff in it now. It's actually changed up from what it was before. There's WG-22. Some costumes here. Here we have Solo and the Falcon. Goggles for Chewbacca and Han Solo. All kinds of great stuff, really cool stuff. There's the Falcon, really cool. So it's just a nice display in here. And by the way, if you come in from the movie theater, you will actually come in through these doors right here. So if you go through the theater, you'll come in this way, and you will end up here with the famous words, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And straight ahead we see um, Anakin's speeder here from uh, Star Wars, the first movie, episode one that is. So that's pretty cool. Really cool model of it. Just about the size they would have used in the movie. Here's what it would look like with the pods, the uh, thrusters on it. That's a bit, little bit closer look at the cockpit there. Pretty cool stuff. This is pretty cool. You've got the uh, traditional beginning to a movie here, except for it's the uh, introduction to the launch bay. And it's even uh, got the expanding text here. So that's pretty neat. All right. So here we have the uh, Scout Speeder bike from uh, the uh, Return of the Jedi. So that's kind of cool. There's the front view of it. If you remember from Return of the Jedi, the bike chases through the forest. Uh, it's pretty cool. Very high speed and uh, a lot of the uh, stormtroopers ended up running into trees. All right, and this is the place to meet Chewie, Chewbacca. So quite a line for him right now, it looks like. And there is Kylo Ren, commander on the bridge. And then in here, past the cantina, we have BB-8. So let's head into the cantina here. It's really cool. This is one of my favorite scenes in the original movies. So I'm glad they did this recreation of it. It's really, really well done. You can see BB-8's entrance right there. This looks like some kind of a holographic machine or something. But it's really cool. This is uh, similar to the chess set that was on the Millennium Falcon that uh, Han Solo said that uh, Luke should let, let the Wookiee win. And there's the bar. There's BB-8 area there. He's a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun meeting up with him. And then over here, let's see what we have. I love all the kind of space junk over here. Even the uh, goggles for the G2 droids from Star Tours. 
So this is the uh, preview gallery for The Saga Continues. So let's see what happens. Pretty cool picture there. And then we have the uh, First Order, which looks a lot like the Empire. But, um, you know, somewhat different in certain ways. So, yeah. Got the different ships. The Dreadnought looks a lot like uh, the Imperial Cruiser. Or Star Destroyer, I guess they call them. There's some lightsabers and pistols and all kinds of stuff. And there is the Millennium Falcon. Rose Tico's costume. There's some stuff from Ray. And we're heading out this way to look around a little bit, a few other things here in the displays. This is right by the line for Kylo Ren. And I believe they do a dessert party here, or they have done in the past, but this is Ray's speeder here. Let's take a look at that. Couldn't resist letting that music build up to that uh, big fanfare there. That was cool. All the Star Wars music is so great with John Williams as the composer. He's just fantastic. And Ray's speeder is built up of scavenged parts, and that's why it's so amazing uh, that it's just really fast and works so well. So that goes back up to the entry area in the first gallery. And this is the entrance for Chewbacca, Wookiee on the base. Each of the meet and greets has its own theme, which is pretty cool. Love these helmets here. And there's all kinds of different exhibits you can see as you walk around each one. But the uh, meet and greets are great, the pictures are great, and the uh, characters are really fun to interact with. And the other thing you'll find is uh, stormtroopers here. Uh oh, no pictures, no pictures. <laughs> On one of our live streams, Jen and I got arrested by uh, the stormtroopers and they took us over here to uh, Kylo Ren's area here. Commander on the bridge, it was really cool. And they actually, we actually got to skip the line to meet Kylo Ren. So, anyway, uh, here's the comparison of all the different stormtrooper uh, helmets here. So now we're back in the uh, preview gallery, and uh, this is where you get to the store, so you can check out all the different merchandise. So we've got Launch Bay Cargo here, and the first room is one of my favorites with this artwork. It's just absolutely amazing. Really, really beautiful artwork. Of course, here's Darth Vader. That's a... Uh, $599.95, so basically $600 there for that Darth Vader figure. And here's the other side. It's a lot of action in these. It's beautiful artwork. As you come in here, you get to the uh, DTEC on-demand section and you can get a cell phone case based on Star Wars and actually it's an on-demand thing so you can have it personalized too if you want. Here's a little better look. The C-3PO one is pretty cool. Now we're out in the store and you've got your uh, lightsabers here, even Kylo Ren's lightsaber. And you've got some more realistic ones here too. It's always very crowded, so you kind of have to work your way around everybody. But a uh, really cool store with a lot of neat stuff to look at. Kind of cool, they've got wine from Skywalker Vineyards here.
and it's fairly expensive. We got the Pinot Noir is $99 and the Chardonnay is $50. I mean, I'm not a much of a wine drinker, um, but you know, definitely not your cheap uh, grocery store wine for sure. And these lamps are really, really cool. The Star Wars lightsaber lamp, $89.95, but still really cool. Very uh, authentic here. They've got tons of books too from the Star Wars universe. I think that's what's so captivating to a lot of people about Star Wars is there are just so many stories in the Star Wars universe even that are not mainline stories. So there's even a book about Captain Phasma. And there's Rex. They may remember where Rex is from. Is it a Star Wars movie? Is it a ride? Post it in the comments if you know. So these are the things that you can get on demand here. You can even customize your own magic band with your name on it. And you do that at one of these uh, iPads here. So that's pretty cool. We've got different uh, outfits, backpacks, all kinds of stuff here. And more artwork. This is pretty cool. It's an AT-AT Pilot backpack for uh, $75. Really detailed. All right, so here's some Han Solo stuff. Millennium Falcon acrylic layer design. That's $150 for that. Really cool kind of a diagram of the ship. And there's Han Solo. Still a little strange not seeing Harrison Ford, but I guess they don't have a time machine, so they can't take him back and shoot the, they couldn't take him back and shoot the movie uh, you know with him as a young man but still really cool merchandise here and over here they've got a lot of figures different uh, Star Wars figures really big ones too more detailed than what you might ex what you might see normally oh wow look at this there's Han Solo and Carbonite for uh, $280 very detailed though there's Princess Leia from Hoth that were my favorite set of figurines here is uh, C-3PO and R2-D2. And uh, C-3PO is $440 and uh, R2-D2 is $420. So these are really, really detailed. But they're really amazing. And for any Star Wars fan, uh, you have to appreciate the detail. Even though to get both of them, you'd be in about $880 or $800 and, uh, sorry, $860. And we got Darth Vader over here. Ray and uh, Boba and Jango Fett here. And you've got the life size Darth Vader statue for $2,800. So a bargain, right? Because everybody needs a life size Darth Vader statue. I guess if you're a huge fan, you might want one in your house there. <laughs> He's tall. And then they have the life-size uh, First Order Stormtrooper statue that is $9,000, but it's a little bit more detailed uh, than Darth Vader, so I think that's why it's more. Very, very detailed here. I actually wonder how much the uh, Disney uh, Stormtrooper costumes are, the ones that Disney has the characters walk around with. There's some BB-8 stuff over there. And a few more toys and collectibles as you go around back towards the Stormtrooper. Well, that about wraps up our Star Wars launch bay update and tour. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Also remember to leave us a like as, as well, as that actually really does help the video on YouTube. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And while you're at it, please be sure to check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Also, check out WindowRepairParts.us and use the coupon code RESORTTV1 for 20% off your purchase at windowrepairparts.us. Also, check out our newest sponsor, MainStreetDVCresale.com. See how uh, easy it is to sell your DVC commission-free. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.